Hello, my name is Marie Schmitz. Welcome to a Sophia Sinclair video. You met her already in How to Say Babylon, but she has written other poems like Cannibal, that was a book. Okay, Sophia Sinclair is a poet, essayist, and author, not only of How to Say Babylon, but of the book Cannibal. She was born in Montego Bay, Jamaica, and grew up there and in the United States. Her work has been published in many journals and anthologies. In How to Say Babylon, written in 2023, Sinclair continues her exploration of themes such as race, history, and identity, but she also addresses the Rastafari movement, which has had a significant influence on Jamaican culture for over 80 years. Rastafarians believe that Haile Selassie, the former emperor of Ethiopia, is the Messiah, and they follow a strict code of conduct. They often use biblical language, wear their hair in dreadlocks, and some of them smoke marijuana as part of their religious rituals. However, Sinclair challenges these beliefs and practices in her poetry. She criticizes the Rastafari movement for its patriarchal nature. In one poem, she writes about how men in the movement expect women to serve them, and she describes their behavior as spiritual machismo. She also highlights how women are excluded from positions of power within the movement, and she questions why it is so difficult for them to be accepted as spiritual leaders. Sinclair is not the first writer to criticize Rastafarianism. Lorna Goodison, who we have also met on this channel, has also written about the movement's treatment of women. However, Sinclair's work is unique because she is both an insider and an outsider. Although she grew up in a Rastafarian family, she does not consider herself to be a Rasta, and she draws on her own experiences to challenge the movement's teachings and values. She also held a talk on her journey to finding her own power. Through this challenge, she encourages her readers to question the ways in in which religion can be abused to oppress people, and she invites them to imagine new possibilities for themselves and their communities. Sophia Sinclair explores how her own journey to understanding her identity and heritage is reflected in the work of Charles Darwin and his theory of evolution. As she delves into her personal story and the history of her family, Sinclair uncovers a powerful lesson about the importance of reclaiming one's own narrative. Sinclair begins her talk by recounting her experience growing up as a mixed-race child in Jamaica. She describes how she was often made to feel like an outsider, both in school and within her own family. It wasn't until later in life that she learned about her family's complex history and the many different cultures and ethnicities that make up her heritage, like that of most Jamaicans. This revelation leads Sinclair to question why she was never taught this history and why it was kept hidden from her. She soon realizes that the erasure of her family's story is part of a larger pattern of colonization and oppression that has affected people all over the world. In order to understand herself and her place in the world, Sinclair decides that she must reclaim her own narrative. Sinclair then turns to the work of Charles Darwin, specifically his theory of evolution and the idea of the survival of the fittest. She explains how for many years this theory was used to justify racism and social inequality. However, Sinclair argues that Darwin's ideas are not inherently racist, but rather were distorted and misused by those in power. By reframing Darwin's theory through the lens of her own experiences, Sinclair is able to find a new meaning in his work. She sees the struggle for survival not as a competition between individuals, but as a collective journey towards self-discovery and empowerment. In doing so, Sinclair is able to embrace her own identity and claim her place in the world. Through her powerful storytelling and poetic language, Sinclair inspires us to question the narratives that have been imposed upon us and to seek out our own truth. In a world that often tries to define us, her message is a reminder that we have the power to shape our own stories and determine our own destinies.